reading from first first corinthians chapter 15 at verse 35 but someone will ask how are the dead raised with what kind of body do they come you foolish person what you sow does not come to life unless it dies and what you sow is not the body that is to be but a bare kernel perhaps of wheat or, or of some other grain but god gives it a body as he has chosen and to each kind of seed its own body for not all flesh is the same but there is one kind of there is one kind for humans another for animals another for birds and another for fish there are heavenly bodies and earthly bodies but the glory of the heavenly is of one kind and the glory of the earthly is of another there is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for the stars differ differs from star in glory so it is with the resurrection of the dead what is sown is perishable, what is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. Thus it is written, thus it is written. The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. But it is not the spiritual that is the first, but the natural, then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are of the dust. And as is the man of heaven, so also are those who are of heaven. Just, of, just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the man of heaven. Amen.